Thank you so much. All Thank over. you. Very well done. Well Thank done. you. Thank you. Now, could you please join and start your presentation, Bruno? Bruno? Yes. Um... Yeah, now that I noticed that I was muted, can you can you yeah. hear me? Yeah. All right, so first of all, let me introduce myself. I am Bruno Dias Gonçalves. I'm a state school teacher here in Vitória, Espírito Santo, Brazil. I am truly honored to be here presenting my work for you. Uh, and I'd like to thank the West Virginia University for having me. And also I'd like to thank my professor, Dr. Rita Tardim for enrolling me and let me know after it. Uh, although I have implemented this after the pandemic, this, the idea uh, behind this project started before pandemic, right? Because I have always asked myself the following question. How can students watch so many movies, theory, and read so many books without registering any information about the country's uh, culture, about country's behavior, about everything related to the country beyond the language itself. Moved by this question, I decided to start a project-based task called Fanzini. Let me share the presentation with you. Can everybody see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. So the project called Fanzini started here. So what is Fanzini? The word fanzine comes from the union of the words fanatic and magazine. It has a concept of a magazine, but it's a type of, of publication made by fans of any topic that could be music, movies, books, poetry, anything, okay? Uh, and why did I choose for it? Because it releases creative liberty. Why? Students can do as they please. They can use photos, in, uh, written things, anything that they want. So basically, it seems that they have no rules to follow. Yes, it's true. But it doesn't mean that it's not possible to determine rules or limits for things that they can do. So how did I start it? First of all, I have to ask this. Have I caught your attention? So, how did I start? Uh, assembling the, the classes in two groups, as I can show you in the pictures, and students, they start gathering information that they can research at home, at school, and so on. So, as, as it shows on the images, it seems like art classes. Not really far from that, but it's combined with other topics as well. Starting from the beginning, I started by English-speaking countries. I decided with the students which English-speaking countries we're going to talk about. So they came up with United States, England, Ireland, Australia, South Africa, Canada, Ireland, and many others. And all these countries were split into topics such as culture, curiosities, politics, economics, history, geography, art, everything that they could bring as relevant information. The classes, they were split into groups, no less than four students, no more than six, okay? And as the school year in Brazil is divided into trimesters, I, did, I set up one project per trimester. And I replaced one exam by this project to be graded. So as I mentioned, they don't have much rules to follow. They don't have rules at all. But I decided with them that all the written um, parts of the fanzine should be handwritten. The main idea here is to avoid copy and pasting without any registering without any analysis, anything. So that's why one of the reasons that I had them writing the information. And also it's a way for written practice. 
uh, one thing that I like it, that text orientation, they don't need to be the traditional one. They could write either way in all possible directions, traditional, sided, diagonally, every, everywhere. Images, they could go black and white, they could color, they could draw and paint. Everything was available, was good to go. As the information that they need to research goes to arts, politics, geography, economics, curiosities, we could make use of other teachers, such as geography teacher, history teacher, and also the art teacher, to uh, confirm, deny information, uh, bring up some other uh, aspects, because they had to research a lot. And as the internet is filled with good information and bad information, a lot of confirmation was needed. Okay? Uh, so, what was used in the classroom? Such as materials, images could be printed at school because the school made available the printer. They could bring from home. And they also needed papers, magazine, post-its, visual aids uh, in general. And the art classes materials such as colored pencils, crayons, scissors, rulers, everything that they could use. The base of the pages is an A4 sheet that was folded in half. Uh, as they had to research a lot and bring a lot of things to school, all the fanzine project classes, they were scheduled beforehand to avoid exactly the students being caught by surprise. So I would tell them in advance, guys, next class, the fanzine class. So bring up the material and they would do so. Uh, the first time that I started, uh, I had students forgetting fanzines at home, the students missing the classes. And even one situation that one student's dog beat all the fanzine projects. So because of these problems, I set up that the fanzine should stay at school. So when they had the fanzine classes, they bring the material that they researched at home beforehand, and I would hand everything that was kept with me. Uh, due to the amount of research that they had to do, uh, I took them some classes to the computer lab so they could research. And their mobiles was authorized to be used in the classroom, so they could also continue researching. So as I believe everybody can see, the students had a lot of control in the process. Uh, they could determine everything, they could research everything that they can. And then comes the question, what about me as a teacher? I would sit down, eat popcorn, and just observe everybody? Not at all. I can tell you that I had a lot of things to do in the class. For example, I had to work on feedback and guidance, so I would keep their motivation high. I would keep them working, so I would say, okay, guys, this organization is nice. I like the idea of the research. I think you're going the right path, so giving this guidance to them was extremely important. As they had a uh, they had a deadline. Time management was something very important that I would help them keep a track on that. And because they had to research, confirm, and, uh, and write everything in English, I needed to check translations. I needed to check some spelling, uh, um, cohesion, coherence. Everything needed to be checked. So this also was something that I had to be on them. And of course... The students who were like, you know, let's fool the teacher, let's play a game here, let's go to the social network, because they were using mobiles in class. I had to keep an eye on that. Okay? And uh, I invite you all to watch this short video to show you some of the results. Marvelous. Very good.
history and everything. So these are done by what age of student? What, which, what, how, how old, how old, are, how old they? are they? Uh, let, let me just, a moment. She's asking yeah. about. Mm -hmm. What did you just come there? It's finishing. I found the Okay, so this is some of the idea. Oops, sorry. Okay, so I'd like to thank you for listening. And say and the age of the students. Yeah, the students, they were about uh, 13, 12 years old, most of them. Okay, and also let me just uh, unblur my my screen so i can i have some of them here with me okay not some of them i think most of them are here that they prepared okay and it's kind of big yeah okay because it's a whole year production in each of these uh fun things here very well done very well done yeah. okay as a conclusion i have to say